Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer. And I'm Emily Caggiano, and welcome to another episode of Dissecting with Emily. And so again, today for you we have Nigel the Brown Pelican. Again, we received this specimen from a rehabilitation center in Florida where he had suffered from a fractured wing, which you can actually see in the CT uh, scan data of Nigel. And he was unable to fully recover from his injuries and had to be euthanized, which is how we ended up receiving him. And so previously, um, we showed you the gular pouch and kind of uh, flexibility of the lower jaw, which my lovely assistant is currently showing you. <laughs> and so, and we discussed how this adaptation can help them catch and hold live fish in their mouth. And so, um, another aspect that we wanted to look at is their technique of plunge diving that they use when they are catching these fish. Um, they actually plunge from heights of 20 to 30 feet straight into the water, and they're actually able to do this without breaking any bones in their skeleton. And so we actually wanted to explore how they could do that. And turns out the answer might have something to do with bubble wrap. And so we actually, when we peeled back the skin, uh, we could see right below the skin, so subcutaneously, they had essentially biological bubble wrap, which is what these little skin areas are. And so this, these, this biological bubble wrap actually derives from the lung system of air sacs. And so all birds, have air sacs that emanate from the lungs, pulmonary air sacs. In some birds, they actually go underneath the skin, subcutaneous air sacs. And in this plunge diving pelican, they've evolved into this basically jacket that helps uh, protect the animals. So what we did a little earlier was we uh, put a tube into the trachea of this animal to try to see if we could maybe even inflate these air sacs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to run behind the camera so that we can zoom in here and I'll also try to inflate these, uh, these air sacs as best I can. Okay, so let's zoom in here and why don't you tell, tell us what you, we found here, Emily. So we have this section essentially right here that is covered in the bubble wrap. Um, they, have, oh, they also have these abdominal uh, air sacs which also inflate and so you can see this whole area is covered. There's a lot up here especially. Um, there's also on this other side that you can't see quite as well. And so let's see what happens when we actually try to inflate these air sacs. And so you can see that the whole bird actually inflates a little bit and rises a little bit. Um, the abdominal ones can actually raise a little bit higher. Um, these ones over here, when we first uh, inflated them, they inflated really well actually. They can't inflate quite as well anymore, probably because of all the poking and prodding we've done to them. We've probably poked a lot of holes in them, so they can't quite inflate as well as they could. But you can see how much they could inflate um, if they were in fact intact and fully functional. Okay, well let's zoom out and see if we can talk a little bit about some of the behaviors that might be associated with these. And so um, when people look into this plunge diving behavior, um, and I'll bring up a skeleton here of a different um, pelican, one of the things that people found is that these animals go into the, into the water like arrows, and normally their bill is going to be closed, not open like this guy. Um, their head goes in right side up, which makes sense. What was surprising that people found was that their um, body actually turned upside down. So it's such that they entered the water with the head right side up, but with the body upside down. So what we wanted to kind of investigate is because they enter the water essentially on their back, we wanted to see if the uh, biological uh, bubble wrap uh, continued on the back. And when we did the dissection, which we're not going to show you, um, we actually found that the bubble wrap, uh, it continued on kind of on the sides of the vertebrae, but it did not continue down the central part of the vertebrae. And this might be because um, the back bones are strong enough to take the impact without any additional cushioning, while the front bones are a little bit more fragile and do need that extra uh, cushioning from the bubble wrap. What's kind of interesting is that when these pelicans uh, turn onto their backs, they all turn, without exception, to the left. None of them turn to the right when they rotate over, they actually all turn to the left. Why would they be doing that? So uh, what you can see from the CT data, which might answer that question, is the trachea of the bird actually goes to the right side of the body, so the opposite way that the body is turning. So it would be protected and elevated above the water. Um, and so it might be they are twisting to the left to keep the um, trachea out of harm's way. So what we've seen here with these pelicans is really remarkable evolutionary invention of an airbag. A bubble wrap to potentially protect them from the high forces of, of the impact of their plunge diving. And so with that, um, I'm Larry Whitmer. 
I'm Emily Caggiano, and that's all for today. I'm gonna go play with some bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs>